So good day monetizers. Uh, it's me again, Admin Cat for SMM Beats. Uh, today, uh, our video will be about Facebook in-stream ads payout. The eight things that you need to know about Facebook payout. So, bago yan, uh, inaanyayahan ko kayong i-follow ang Facebook page namin at mag-subscribe sa YouTube channel namin, SMM Beats. For more uh, videos uh, and tutorials, for more videos and tutorials about monetizing your social media accounts. So, sa video na to, ang uh, pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa mga bagay na dapat nyong malaman tungkol sa mga payouts ni Facebook. And I'm hoping na pagkatapos ng video na to, meron na kayong mga dagdag kaalaman tungkol sa in-stream ads at sa proseso ng uh, payout ni Facebook. So, first things first, so what is Payout Hub? Uh, Facebook Payout Hub is where you can see payouts connected to a certain page. And it's also where you can update payment information and tax information on behalf of a page. So, pag sinabing payout hub, ito yung uh, kung saan nandun lahat ng mga financial informations nyo, financial transactions nyo with Facebook. So, lahat ng mga ibinayad nila sa inyo at kung merong pending o merong on hold ng mga payments, so doon, nandun lahat yon sa Payout Hub. At isa pang uh, feature ni Payout Hub is doon nyo may update yung mga payment informations nyo or yung mga tax informations nyo. At saka kung halimbawa mag a o mag -re remove kayo ng mga financial admins nyo. So doon yung lahat kinagawa sa Payout Hub. So, the second thing is, how do you find the payout hub? So, saan mo daw makikita yung payout hub? So, kung ikaw ay isang admin ng isang monetized na page, siguro naman alam niyo na to. Uh, but for the sake of this uh, tutorial, so, papaliwanag natin lahat. Para don sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam. So, there are two ways that you can find the payout hub. Number one is through the Creator Studio. And number two, is through the Facebook Payout Hub. So, where do we find or how do you find the Payout Hub? So, you find the Payout Hub sa Creator Studio through, of course, number one is going to the Creator Studio. And then, um, uh, go to the Monetization tab. So, my right-hand side, doon nyo makikita yung uh, Monetization tab. Pag-click nyo dyan, um, Go to the payout settings. Uh, pagkatapos ng payout settings, you have to select the page. Kung aling page ang gusto nyo makita yung payout information. So, you have to select a page. And then, you click manage account. So, pag uh, clinic mo yung manage account, uh, you have to input your password. Tapos, pag through Facebook naman, uh, of course, number one is open your Facebook. And then, uh, sa, uh, sa taas, sa pinakataas, um, doon nyo makikita, makikita yung uh, itong small triangle na to uh, beside the notification bell and the messenger icon. So, click that uh, triangle. And then, uh, a box will pop up like this one and then uh, you find or you search for settings then click it also settings and then lalabas yung uh, isang bagong window uh, doon yun naman ahanapin uh, yung payouts so lalabas yung settings window and then hanapin nyo yung payouts uh, usually sa pinakababayan so ang payouts lalabas lang yun kapag um, nag-set up ka na ng monetization. So, ibig sabihin, uh, admin ka na ng isang monetized na page. Doon lang siya lalabas. Uh, the third thing that you need to know is what is inside the payout hub. So, what are the parts of a payout hub? 
So, uh, if we will uh, look at the Creator Studio's uh, payout hub, uh, there will be three tabs that you will see. Number one is the transaction history. So, sa transaction history, um, makikita nyo lahat yung mga payments na ginawa ni Facebook for you. Uh, kasama na yung mga on hold or yung mga pending payments. So, sa transaction history nyo yan makikita. Kung gusto nyo makita yung uh, payments na binigay na sa inyo ni Facebook for a whole year, you can customize this one. Uh, the dates so uh, you can customize that to a whole year or the past year or uh, uh, a quarter so pwede nyo siyang i-customize para makita nyo yung uh, earnings nyo the second tab the second tab at the payout hub sa creator studio is the statements tab so statements Statements are the invoices and the remittance statements that uh, Facebook always uh, send us through email. So you can also see that those statements here, statements tab. Pag sinabi ng mga account settings, when you say account settings, it's all the information, all the financial information about your page. So the financial method, uh, the admins or the tax uh, identification that you have, all of that is in the account settings. This is also where you can uh, edit that or uh, update your account uh, information. This is where you can do that. If you will look at the payout hub in Facebook, so here is what, what are the parts of that payout hub. So, number one is the payouts. So, sa payouts, what you can see are uh, also the earnings. All your earnings. All your past earnings that Facebook has already uh, uh, paid you. That is all in the payouts hub. Uh, in the earnings tab, it is all earnings that you have, even the ones that are uh, not yet paid by, by Facebook yet. So, yung mga naka on hold or yung mga naka uh, pending. So, nasa earnings yan. Pero pag naging paid na yan, mapupunta yan sa payout. So, yun ang pagkakaiba ni payouts at saka ni earnings. And then, sa settings tab is the same as in the creator studio. Settings tab has all your financial information and all the names of the uh, financial admins ng page mo. And then yung payout sources, this one is not in the creator studio. So when you say payout sources, these are the, the pages na nakalink sa payout mo. So yun ang ibig sabihin ng payout sources. So fourth thing that you have to know about payout is the payout timeline. So paano ba yung nangyayari every month? pagka mag, mag, uh, magbibigay na ng payout si Facebook. Uh, from the 10th to the 15th of the month, Jan usually sinesend ni Facebook uh, ang invoice through email. Kung ano mang email yung nilagay mo sa nung mag-set up ka ng payment. So, isesend nila yung invoice. It means, kung magkano yung halaga sa invoice, yun ang matatanggap mo this month. So, that is uh, from the 10th to the 15th. So, sa mga ganung date mo siya hihintayin. And then, from the 21st to the 28th of the month, uh, Facebook will send out the payouts. So, uh, be because before, kaya 21st hanggang 28th ang nilagay ko. Kasi before, before the COVID virus, uh, Facebook would, would send the, the payouts every 21st 21st or 22nd pero mula nung nagtaroon ng covid virus medyo nag-delay na siya so ngayon uh, ang pinaka late na yata na nakuha ko yung payout is the 28th kaya nilagay ko siya ng 21st hanggang 28th so maghihintay lang tayo ng, ng mga one week para sa payout 
So, a few days after payout, pagka nakuha mo na yung pera, isi-send na ni Facebook sa'yo yung remittance statement through email also. So, it just means na nabayaran ka na ni Facebook. Uh, para siyang resibo or whatever. So, uh, yun ang uh, payout timeline. So, every month, ganyan ang nangyayari. Uh, I'm, I'm telling this to you para medyo may alam... Uh, Alam nyo naman ko kailang kayo maghihintay. Fifth thing that you have to know is how to edit your payout details. Before we go into explaining how to edit your payout details, siguro uh, ipapaalala ko lang na before trying to update your payout settings, just remember that there will be a 10-day payout hold on your payout account. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Um... Pagka nag-update ka ng payout mo, kahit kahit anong information dun sa payout settings mo, uh, magkakaroon ng 10-day payout hold. So, bakit siya importante? Importante siya because kung halimbawa nag-edit uh, nag ka ng mga abente or a 15, sabihin na natin. Halimbawa nag-edit ka ng mga a 15. So, may 10-day payout hold, uh, mga ano na yun, uh, 25th na yun, di ba? Yung 10-day, bago matapos yung payout hold, 25th na. So, inabot na niya yung, uh, yung date kung kailan nag-payout si Facebook. So, it means hindi mo makukuha yung payout mo for this month. Makukuha mo na yun next month. So, yun ang uh, importance kung bakit kailangan yung malaman yung 10-day payout hold. So, ang tip ko lang kung uh, magbabago kayo, mag update kayo, or mag edit kayo ng payout settings nyo, huwag nyo gagawin pagka malapit na yung payout. Siguro mas magandang gawin sa pagka, pagkatapos nyo mag-payout. Siguro 1 to 2 days pagkatapos nyo mag-payout, uh, baguhin nyo yung settings, kung ano man yung babaguhin nyo sa payout, para hindi maapektuhan yung flow ng payout nyo. Paano daw mag-update ng payout details? Before, pwede ka mag-update ng details sa Creator Studio. Kaya lang, uh, eh, hindi ko alam kung anong nangyari kay Facebook, so hindi daw makapag-update ngayon ng mga admins, yung iba nakakilala ko na nagtatanong sa akin, no? Uh, hindi daw sila makapag-update through Creator Studio. So, ang payo ko sa kanila is mag-update na lang sila through Payout Hub sa Facebook. So, paano yung gawin? So, pumunta ka sa Payout Hub mo sa Facebook, katulad nung itinuro ko kanina. And then, sa settings, it's up to you kung anong babaguhin mo, no? So, depende sa kung anong babaguhin mo, uh, you can see it all here. Halimbawa, uh, babaguhin mo yung payout method mo. So, uh, you just press edit and then uh, pwede mo nang baguhin. Halimbawa, from PayPal to bank account or bank account to PayPal. So, nasa sa inyo na yan. Katulad nyo itong sa akin. Kaya dalawa siya is because nagbago ko ng payout method. Dati akong PayPal. Tapos na-restrict na yung account ko. So, na-close siya. Kaya nag-update ako at nag-edit ng payout method ko into bank account. Kaya dalawa siya. Hindi mabubura yung yung lumang payout method. Madadagdagan lang siya. Baka kasi makita nung iba, eh bakit ay hindi naman nabura yung ano, yung dating payout method. Hindi yata siya mabubura. mag ano lang siya, madadagdagan. Pero yung edit tab, yung edit button, mapupunta doon sa bago mong payout method. Ano pa ang pwede mong ma-update or ma-edit sa payout hub? Uh, yung tax information o yung W-8 Ben form. Pwede mo yung i-upload sa payout hub. Ano yung W-8 Ben form? Pag-uusapan natin yan mamaya. Huli natin siyang pag-uusapan. So, stay tuned. Huwag kayong bibitaw. Para malaman nyo yung kung ano yung W-8 Ben form at para sa saan. And then, uh, pwede mo rin i-update yung account information mismo. Halimbawa, uh, yung account name ng page address. Hindi ko alam kung mababago mo pa yung tax ID type. Meron kasing iba na nagsasabi na hindi na daw nila nababago yan. So, I'm not sure. Tapos, pwede mo rin i-update yung mga payout account admins mo. Pwede kang mag-remove or pwede kang mag-add. 
dito mo yun gagawin. FYI, kung hindi nyo pa alam, iba yung payout account admins at yung page admins. Kung baga, magkakaiba sila ng level. So, merong page admins. So, sila yung mga uh, administrator ng mga pages. Iba pa yung payout account admins. Ang payout account admins lang ang pupwedeng mag-delete, uh, mag-update ng mga financial information. Pupwedeng page admins din sila, pero magkaibang level sila ng access. Okay, number six. The sixth thing is what are the payment methods accepted by Facebook. Sa part natin, sa, sa Pilipinas, sa Thailand, hindi ko alam sa ibang part kasi parang may mga nababasa akong iba eh na po pwede yung pay payoneer. So, sa Pilipinas, uh, PayPal at bank account lang ang po pwedeng method ng payment. Yun lang yung ina-accept ni Facebook. Kasi medyo uh, may nababasa ko minsan na sa, sa Brazil yata or somewhere there, po pwede yung payoneer sa kanila. Pero sa atin, PayPal at bank account lang. Okay, number seven. The difference between pending and on-hold payout status. So, ito medyo maraming nagtatanong ano, ano daw ang ibig sabihin ng pending o ng on-hold dun sa mga payment status nila. So, pag sinabi mong pending, eh, yun yung mga payment na isi-send na ni Facebook sa'yo sa buwan na to. Pending lang yung payment mo, pero isi-send niya sa'yo yan. This month. Pag sinabi mo namang on-hold, on hold is payment that Facebook is holding on for the moment because of certain issues. So, pag nag-on hold yung payment status mo, uh, may mga rason yan. May mabigat na rason si Facebook kung bakit hinuhold niya yung payment mo. Number one is, it hasn't reached the minimum payment of $100 yet. So, yun ang pinakakaraniwan. Kasi nga, ang minimum payment sa Facebook, uh, monetization is $100. So, kung wala pang $100 yung naging earnings mo para sa month na yon, hindi pa ibibigay sa yun ni Facebook. Idadagdag niya yon sa susunod na buwan mo. Hanggang sa makapag-accumulate ka na ng $100 or more. One uh, other reason kaya nagkakaroon ng on-hold payment is uh, your page has certain problems that needs to be addressed first. So, minsan uh, the problem would be merong nagkiklaim ng earnings doon sa video mo. Halimbawa, may nag-claim ng copyright, tapos gusto niya yung earnings ng video. I-on hold muna ni Facebook yan. Aayusin niya muna. Pagka maayos na, alam na kung magkano yung partihan, sa kanya i-release yun. But most of the time, mababawasan na yun. Siyempre. Kasi mapupunta na, mapupunta na yun doon sa totoong may-ari ng video. So, the third one, palagay ko, hindi niyo alam to. Wala pa yata akong naririnig na nagreklamo tungkol dito eh. Yung rejected na payout status. So, when you say rejected, these are payout status that you will get if you entered a wrong bank information and there was a rejection back to Facebook. So, halimbawa, mali yung bank account number na nailagay mo. So, ire-reject yun ng banko. Tapos, ibabalik yung kay Facebook. So, magiging rejected yung status ng payout mo. Ang gagawin mo dyan is uh, pupunta ka sa payout hub mo at i-update mo yung payment method mo. The eighth thing that you need to know about Facebook payout. At this one, medyo ginugal ko siya, no? Kasi hindi ko rin siya alam. So, this one, ginugal ko siya kasi medyo, para medyo mas may alam naman ako at tapos ipapaliwanag ko na lang sa inyo. The eighth thing that you need to know payout is the W9 and the W8 Ben Forms. Para maipaliwanag ko sa inyo yung W8 Ben Forms, ipapaliwanag ko na rin sa inyo yung W9 Forms. Uh, the purpose of Form W9 is to provide your U.S. Tax ID, aka TIN, or Taxpayer Identification Number, to the person, including a financial institution, who needs to report certain information about you such as income paid to them. Form W-9 must be completed by U.S. persons, U.S. citizen or green card holder individuals, individuals who are treated as residents for U.S. tax purposes. So, uh, ang W-9 is para sa mga U.S. citizens. Parang uh, nagre-report sila ng kanilang mga income tax. Uh, W-8 Ben. 
The W-8 Ben is a form required by the Internal Revenue Service or the United States Tax Agency. The W-8 Ben is applicable to foreign individuals and sole proprietors who earn money from U.S. sources. They must provide a completed W-8 Ben form to their U.S. client in order to avoid paying taxes to the IRS. So, ang W-8 Ben form is a form na rin nire-require ni IRS. Yung IRS, ang equivalent din sa Pilipinas ay BIR. So, nire-require ng IRS na yung mga foreign individuals, mga hindi U.S. citizen, na kumikita mula sa mga U.S. companies or kumikita mula sa mga U.S. sources, nire-require sila na mag-submit ng W-8 Ben form. So, isa tayo doon. Kasi kumikita tayo mula kay Facebook, isang U.S. company, pero mga foreign individual tayo. So, W-8 Ben form ang uh, kailangan natin isubmit. So, pag hindi ka nag-submit ng W-8 Ben form, anong mangyayari? Failure to fill out form W-8 Ben means that the IRS can withhold 30% of your income earned from U.S. sources. So, pag hindi ka nagbigay uh, ng W-8 Ben form, uh, pwede kang kaltasan ng IRS ng 30% ng income na nakukuha mo mula doon sa U.S. company. Sa, sa atin mula sa Facebook. Uh, 30% is ididedact ni Facebook mula sa kinita mo. Tapos yun ang ibibigay nila kay IRS. So, yun ang dahilan kung bakit merong W-8 Ben. Kung bakit pinapasubmit tayo ni Facebook ng W-8 Ben. Para hindi ka makaltasan ng 30% sa mga kinikita mo mula kay Facebook. Uh, sana uh, na, na, naliwanagan tayo doon. Naliwanagan din ako doon uh, actually nung ginugal ko siya. So yung pala yung W8 Ben. That's it for this video. I hope marami kayong natutunan dito sa, uh, sa video na to tungkol sa payout. Tell me sa comment section kung ano-ano yung mga bagay na natutunan nyo sa video na to. I will be reading those. At kung meron kayong mga comments o may mga questions kayo uh, na gusto nyong itanong, please uh, comment them uh, below.